Hello, welcome to Power System Fault Section 7B. We will learn to calculate fault current in single logic ground fault. There is an unintended path for abnormal current from one phase to ground. Suppose it occurs at phase A. It could happen at voltage terminal of a generator. Suppose there is no load in this case. Therefore, current in phase B and C are zeros. We use our knowledge from power system section 5. We can see that the zero, positive and negative sequence currents have the same value, one third of the current IA. Therefore, current in phase A is three times of zero sequence current. Voltage at phase A will drop to almost zero. Since the zero, positive and negative sequence currents have the same value, all sequence networks are connected in series. And we can simply find the current from Ohm's law. Example 1. Singular to ground fault occurs at the voltage terminal of generator at phase A. We can find the zero sequence current from this equation at S minus J 2.22 per unit. We can find the zero positive and negative sequence voltage from these equations. Then convert them to phase sequence voltage VA, VB, and VC. VA is zero, whereas the magnitude of VB and VC reduced to 0 0.88 per unit. Then calculate line voltage. VA, B, and VCA reduced to 0 0.88 per unit, whereas VBC raised up to 1.73 per unit. Then calculate current in each phase. IA is minus J 6.66 per unit, whereas IB and IC are zero. There is large current only in one phase, phase A, because it is single phase to ground fault at phase A, whereas phase B and C is operating at no load. Example 2, similar to example 1, but neutral impedance change from zero to J 0 0.01 per unit. Sequence currents can be calculated from this equation at S minus J 2.1 per unit. Then calculate voltage at phase A. It is still zero because fault impedance is zero. Example 3. Similar to example 1, but fault impedance changes from 0 to J 0 0.01 per unit. Sequent currents can be calculated from this equation at S minus J 2.1 per unit. Then calculate voltage at phase A at S 0 0.6 per unit. In conclusion, for single logic fault, the zero positive and negative currents can be calculated from this equation. Fault current at phase A is three times of the zero sequence current. Thank you for your attention. Please stay tuned for more clips.